Hello, in this lesson we will see one excellent plugin called WordPress Social Share Buttons. It is one um, plugin which will allow you to put share buttons from social media sites and you can download it from codecanyon.net. Currently it is $8, but we will see the advantages of this plugin. All right, so there are a lot of plugins for sharing the content. Uh, like flow uh, with floating um, capability and um, there are a lot of them so we will compare this plugin which is by the way from an elite author with two uh, other plugins with this one which is not a free one it's four dollars and with a free social sharing uh, plugin called WP Socializer. All right, so basically uh, we will try to find the best solution for our website, which is this one. And let's see the this website and let's check it in the validator to see whether we have some errors. All right, so as we can see this website has no errors and this document was successfully checked as HTML5. Alright, so I've installed these three plugins on my website and let's check whether we will have some problems with them. We will start with this one which is for four dollars and uh, it's called Social Counter. Let's activate this plugin Alright, so let's empty the page cache and now under the settings we will have this submenu called social counter and let's see the options of this plugin. So we have the option to display this plugin on page and posts we won't be able to choose between home page and categories page so only these two options are given. We also have the option to display the plugin horizontally or vertically and we have five social sharing buttons Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn and StumbleUpon and we can also play with the style. Alright, so let's save the settings and now when we refresh the page we will see that this plugin is working down here so we have social buttons here alright so let's make it uh, vertically and we will select top position 255 pixels from the top and from the left there's gonna be zero pixels all right so let's save the settings and see how it looks like and now when we refresh the page we will see that the plugin is displaying here and of course it's not a good option for us because we cannot see some of the text here and for bigger browsers or smaller ones we will always have this issue all right so let's check the site again in the validator and see whether we have some errors okay so let's check it and now we can see that we have four errors and two warnings and all of them are coming from this plugin the iframe from the social counter google plus button so this plugin is not an option so let's deactivate this plugin so this plugin is not an option for our website okay so here it is now let's see the other plugin which is a free one WP socializer and let's see how it works alright so 
here's the plugin here it is under it has a its own menu and when we click on WP socializer we will see its settings all right so we have some videos here which is very nice but we need plugin which will work just fine and it will have it will has no errors all right so we can choose the position of the floating share bar let's make it left float we can choose the color team let's leave it white and we can show the floating bar in individual posts and pages so again we have only two options here for example if we want if we don't want to show this plugin on a home page there is no such option and we can disable the floating share bar and we have some buttons here such as Facebook um, of course Twitter email print comments so there's a little bit more from the previous one and we can move the floating bar and set up the distance between the post and the floating share bar right so let's update the settings and let's see the setting in option right so let's refresh the page and here we can see the plugin in action so we have Facebook like tweet and Google Plus so when we scroll down it is floating bar so it looks very nice and if we watch the plugin in smaller resolution as you can see there is no conflict between the plugin and the text of the page okay but let's check our website the validator and as we can see we still have four errors here Right, so again, all these errors are coming from this plugin. We have uh, the Google button and some iframes which are causing this error. So let's deactivate the plugin, it's not gonna work for our website as well. So we'll just close this tab. Let's empty some caches and let's see our website again. And now it is valid, so we have no errors. All right, so let's check the third one, which I highly recommend, WordPress social share buttons. Let's activate it. And now under the settings we have new submenu social share buttons so let's see what's inside this plugin all right so as you can see the interface is very nice we have the option to choose between all these social media sites you can see there are a lot of them we also have the option to enable or disable the print or email button and here are the settings of the plugin so we can use the vertical uh, option horizontal option and we can use the print and email settings here and also we can play with the style here it can be floating panel or a toolbar 
which will show down below and we can set up the alignment of this plugin all right so also we have the option to disable or enable the load option open i would suggest to leave this on and also we have the option to auto close for example if you uh, use this option whenever somebody is clicking on the website uh, the plugin will close itself so I will leave this as off and also we have the option to play with the floating speed and animation speed I won't use this one as well so I just want to uh, I want simple solution and here we have the styling we can put our own custom CSS and we can use some other uh, colors currently it is white and we have this very important option where to display this plugin we have the option to disable the home page we have the option to enable or disable it on pages posts category pages posts or archive pages as you can see there are much more now about this plugin all right and something extremely important by default this value is zero so let's save the changes and see what it means so let's refresh the page now it's red one let's select the white color save the settings let's refresh the page now and now we have white background of these buttons and as you can see this floating just nice all right but here's one little problem for example, if somebody is using a um, square screen or bigger screen or smaller one, as you can see, this plugin will have some conflicts with the text and it, will, it won't show very properly. So, here's something very important. In the settings, we will use one trick in the center we'll put some number let's say 600 and let's save the settings what will it do the plugin will slice the browser page into halves and the plugin will show exactly 600 pixels uh, between between the middle of the browser page and uh, where it's showing so when we refresh the page we will see that uh, for different resolutions the plugin won't have any conflicts for example if we have uh, this big page as you can see it's not visible but it won't um, it won't interact with the text and most importantly let's try the validator and let's check the plugin we will see that this document is successfully checked this means that the, pl th that the plugin is made very well and you can play with this plugin a lot there are many many options and uh, here's the documentation of the plugin there are a lot of settings which uh, you may use and most importantly there's an option to use a shortcut with custom fields in your pages or posts and you can put the plugin not uh, as a floating bar but you can use it uh, display horizontally by using one simple shortcut all of this is explained here currently I want to use this plugin as a simple solution to show to show up like this so I will leave 
all these settings. I would highly recommend this plugin. It's not very expensive. It's only $8, but there are no errors in the code. It's loading very fast and it has a lot, a lot of options. Currently, I haven't seen better uh, social sharing plugin and I'm very happy to use this plugin on my and my clients websites all right so you can go to code canyon and download this plugin to use it on your website okay so thank you very much for watching you can visit my site tutorial7.com to learn more about wordpress joomla web design and search engine optimization thank you very much again